Hello, welcome to um, a book dip. It's been a minute since I did one of these and I've been wanting to, but who can find the time for all the things that you wanna do and the books you wanna read? Well, today's book dipping, and by the way, of course, when I finally have time to, to film this video in the spot that I wanna film it in, um, they're doing work outside. And so if it sounds like someone is getting their teeth worked on, it's some, some man out there doing some thing to the street anyway. So, um, so this is the book dip today and it's made in Japan, American influence on Japanese quilts. It's a slender volume. It's just, oh, I don't know. What is that? Like 12 pages, 14 pages plus the cover. Um, and this is yeah, a museum catalog. It's a very special, the new England quilt museum in Lowell, Massachusetts. Um, the summer, pretty much like the summer of 1990, did this exhibit and it's just incredible. Now, I'm gonna show you a lot of the um, quilts that are featured in this beautiful catalog printed in Japan because I, I just don't know if you'll be able to get your hands on this. Now, you could contact the New England Quilt Museum, you could go on eBay, you could go rifling through, you see, someone's getting there cavity filled. Um, you could you could rifle through someone's um, quilt library, you know, to get it. Where did I get this one? Well, anyway, <laughs> if you're missing yours. <laughs> um, so, so this is great. So, so Kei Kobayashi um, visited the New England Quilt Museum. And this is the story, you know, Kay speaks about the experience and then the museum director at the time, Marta Gredler, they both write a little bit about this, but it seems that Kay, um, in the spring of 18, 1989, in 1889, um, Kay came to the museum because she was working on a documentary about um, the the uh, for jo for Japanese public television about quilts and quilts in Japan and American quilts. And she then put together, they became great friends, uh, Kay and the folks at the New England Quilt Museum. And so they did an exhibit together. And the quilts that are featured in this catalog, which were featured in the exhibit, of course, will blow your mind. For example, oh, this one is probably, both of these are just ridiculous. Look at this. So what I was saying is that um, because it'll be hard to get one of these, I the best I can do is put a link to the New England Quilt Museum and tag them in this post and urge you, urge you to go to the New England Quilt Museum website and in any time you're in New England, when you can, um, go visit the New England Quilt Museum. Pam Weeks is the curator there. She is one of the coolest people I have ever met and that's saying a lot. And it's just a really great place. So the quilt museums need you. If you're a quilt maker, you know, 10 bucks here, five bucks here. So if you care about quilts like this, oh my God, then you need to support your quilt museums. And the one I just showed you, Monet's Water Lily, made of Japanese cotton and synthetic fibers, 195 centimeters by 250 centimeters. Interesting. Teruko Inoue. And it doesn't have a year. That's interesting. Hmm. And then the house, which I showed you just now, Ritsuko Machida. I mean, that is ridiculous. Are you ready for this? Ha 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 ha. Yeah, I know. I mean, it's now that looks a lot like Japanese quilts that I've seen um, at the International Quilt Museum. Also, I will tag them and give you a link to their website because you need to go over there as well and take a look and donate. It's just very important. I mean, these quilts are, they're wonderful. And I'll put a few more images in there because I said that I would and I want to. So, you know, things like this, exhibits like this, um, international partnerships uh, with, with quilt makers, you know, these are the things that great museums uh, quilt museums are are doing and they've been doing for a while. I mean the International Quilt Museum is named that because they have huge a huge collection of quilts from around the world and the New England Quilt Museum obviously cares about the global landscape of of quilt making, you know? I mean this was back in 1990, which was a very interesting time for Japanese quilts and American quilts and the relationship between the two. 
Oh my God. Um, yeah. And that's a book dip. And so make sure you're looking at quilts. Um, you know, if you're looking at quilts, um, look, look beyond America, look beyond North America and, um, see what else is out there. Um, this is another one. I just, you know, I have to do a little bit at a time, but that is a very interesting book. Oh, I'm teasing you. Spencer Museum of Art, University of Kansas, 1987. It's the only thing I can read on this page. And that's okay. That's okay. Thanks for joining me. Um, yeah, that's all. I have a monitor down here. That's why I'm always looking down. Cool story. <laughs>